Dipstick Reader Quick Soya – Food Sample Preparation The video shows how to extract food samples using the Reader Quick Soya. For the analysis of food samples using Reader Quick Soya, further extraction buffer is needed. The extraction buffer contained in the kit is only sufficient for two samples. It is also recommended to use the accessory kit containing a floating rack. A homogeneous sample is a prerequisite, therefore grind at least 5 gram sample. In case of inhomogeneous samples, use a higher weigh-in. The sample is homogenized using a blender. Then weigh in exactly 1 gram of homogenized sample. Add 7.5 milliliters of extraction buffer to 1 gram sample. Avoid cross-contamination. Use a new pipette for every sample. Then mix the food sample thoroughly to dissolve the whole sample. Incubate the samples for 10 minutes in a boiling water bath. Make sure that the water is boiling. Cool the sample down to at least 25 degrees centigrade. Filter the sample extract. Use the clear filtrate for analysis with Reda Quick Soya. Add 5 drops of each conjugate to a 5 ml test tube. Add 150 microliters of food sample and incubate for 5 minutes. Use gloves while placing the dipstick vertically with the arrow end into the test tube. Incubate the strips for 5 minutes. Take out the strip exactly after 5 minutes and read the result immediately. The first dipstick shows two red lines. The result is positive. The food is contaminated with soy. The second dipstick shows only one red line. The result is negative. The food does not contain soy. It is also helpful to use the evaluation card. Final message. Even highly processed soy is detected. Additional extraction buffer for the analysis of food samples can be ordered separately. Use check samples. The accessory kit contains useful equipment, like a floating rack. No hazardous materials are used. Traces of soy and food are analyzed with different methods. The dipstick gives a yes or no answer, while the ELISA is quantitative. The real-time PCR is able to analyze quantitative, qualitative and multiplex. If you are interested, more videos are available. Thank you for your time.